After a successful Kickstarter, 3D Art Digital has set up residence on the internet. Spiky bits. With Orktober right around the corner, now is a great time to pick up some gorgeous looking orc miniatures from 3D Art Digital. They just did an bang up job on their Kickstarter in, I don't even, I can't even remember, I think it was about a year ago. And now they're going to direct sales on their website, cause why not, right? <laughs> that's, that's everybody's dream, do a Kickstarter, sell your products, come out with new products, wash, rinse, repeat. We've seen it happen so many times out there in this industry and can't say enough good things about what it means for our hobby in general and the longevity of the things we all enjoy doing, you know, as hobbyists out there, whether whatever brand of products, uh, you know, we're actually physically working on at the time right there. So they have a bunch of smaller scale. They recently took their stuff, scaled it down, and now we're offering it at, you know, the 20 to 32 millimeter kind of heroic or, you know, normal scale, whatever you, you kind of feel there. They have some larger kits and that was kind of their focus uh, their uh, first Kickstarter here gives you kind of an idea of exactly how big each and every little chainmail rung right here or orc mail rung can actually be assembled together. It's quite um, ambitious and very cool to see. I mean, you don't have to, you don't even have to use glue. Check that out. Like there's a little notch um, and they just kind of like magic trick, magic loop together. So, wow, very cool. We're going to take a closer look at these because I don't want to spoil it and show you uh, the detail quite yet, but let's check out their website. So here's their site, 3D Art Digital. We'll drop it in the comments below so you can just click on it. They've got their entire first run of Kickstarter offerings up. And of course the new heroic scale miniatures that you can see right down here, of course. Now you can see it <laughs> through the magic of OBS, we show you things. Okay, so here is their heroic scale stuff and they're larger and now you kinda starting to appreciate. If you've been watching Kenny's stream over at Next Level Painting, he painted up this guy here in a really sweet purple. There's optional armor plating and things like that. This guy here is actually the size of a Night Titan. It's quite impressive to be quite honest. So these are kinda like centerpiece statue kinda type deals and these are models that you would actually you know play with on the tabletop a little bit more. Uh, frequently, I suppose, when it comes to that. Now, they always have stuff up on here for sale. They run sales uh, periodically. I don't know if they're gonna have stuff on sale, but if you're interested in that larger Orc Warlord model, he is on sale currently. But, and then they have a bundle pack right here, which we have one to show you today, that for 40 bucks, I mean, you're talking $10 a miniature. If you're a fan of the Orcs, of the Greenskins, it might be kind of neat to pick up and just try your hand in it. There's tons of options there. Let's check out the Orc Warlord real quick, just to give you an idea of what all comes with it. Like I said, a lot of parts here are optional, just optional armor. You can kind of see that's him with his helmet, that's him without his helmet. There's a hammer bit instead of the ax. I mean, there's just all sorts of different things here and they sell additional add-on options. Uh, so. His scale, like I said, 178 millimeters, that's uh, pretty, sick. what is it? 25 millimeters is about an inch right there. So, you know, you're talking eight, almost eight inches tall. So very similar to a Night Titan right there. Uh, free international shipping on larger orders. Some fluff, some background, number of parts, 66. We don't have this guy to show you, unfortunately, but there is some of the add-ons. There's that massive Warhammer add-on that I was talking about. It's so, so sweet looking. We've seen this in the past over on Next Level Paintings channel, and it is quite splendid. I mean, it's it's a chunk. <laughs> it is a chunk of resin right there. It's kind of crazy. Now, they actually are still working on some of their development of their kickstarts and their miniatures they have things still on the wear there's the drummer goblin looks like they just finished that or put out an update on it here about two months ago and like i said they kicked those um offerings down to 28 millimeters right there so you can get all that some guides to inserting magnets and things we'll check that out here in a second when we pop these open to show you the actual quality of the miniatures themselves 
So we're gonna take a quick look at two of their offerings here. This is the Ore Creator 2.0 that we just showed you. And you can see it is kind of crazy how much detail they got into that. Uh, there is options to be magnetized and such. It all comes very well packaged with bubble wrap over the parts that need it right there. And then there's all the little chain mail. And I like how they have the clasps or the the parts that are open right there on the outside, which you can't really probably see that much in the camera. And then this nice little uh, display base right here as well. Looks very well done. So let me bust these parts out and kind of show them to you one by one. But maybe one of the coolest things is that it actually includes all the magnets you need uh, to switch out the options there. Wow, talk about detailed. Uh, they thought of everything it looks like on here. Now, this is just the torso and the poofy pant legs right there. But I mean, you can see, I'm looking at the readout here and I can still see the detail coming through on the camera. I mean, all of the leather work is incredible. You can see the scars, actual scars sculpted in there on uh, the orc skin and little wrinkles and things like that. Look at all the twine, all the notches in the twine. Or you can actually tell that's twine. You can tell the stitching in the leather, like, Oh wow, just, just crazy. In the 80s called, they want their parachute pants back from MC Hammer, but hey, uh, I wouldn't worry about that. This is, uh, this is pretty good stuff here. Also, you might notice all the sockets about, that's for the magnets, and they actually thought of everything here. They put an extra little piece, it looks like. Let me see. You can slot the boots in. Well, that, that, that's not the right way. You can slot the boots in. You don't need to magnetize those, and even those are super well, well detailed with all the crazy Batman little jagged barbs and spiky bits and swords right there. You can see the fresh rip on the pants is literally jagged. That's how clean of a cast uh, this is right here. Now looking at the arms, which I'm going to pull out one of these right here just to show you. I really like how they did this. They, they gave you a magnet slot and for both so you can switch them out maybe if there's another weapon that they come out with uh that you might want this of course is the different side here but what's cool about it is it's got a peg so you won't get any torquing from your magnet when you put a magnet in there you know sometimes the arm might spin and that would just look silly well now you just peg it and slot it in and it won't spin or anything like that it gives it extra stability so they've got all these magnet holes for all sorts of things including the head and if you really wanted to you know kind of uh, switch out the shoulder pads and such for new things that come out. Maybe you use these guys as a big D&D &D character or something like that, but and you can really get nitty gritty like, oh, this is my orc warrior and oh, he got new equipment. All right, I need to switch this out and all those uh, types of things. It just, it, it seems like a really cool idea and it's very, very detailed. Like I can't think of anything else out there on the tabletop side of things that's this well detailed down to the point of even the little elastic bands on the stretchy pants. Like it's just very, very cool to see. Like I said, they've done their homework. They've thought of pretty much everything uh, when it comes to here. The only possible drawback that I'm seeing so far is maybe, uh, well, they only got orcs. <laughs> Next up is the Heroic Scale 2.0 bundle deal, bundle deal, bundle deal. Now these guys, of course, there's four in here, but I'm saving the best for last. So you get the two gobbos right here, the archer, and I don't know, what is this guy? The jawbreaker, he's about to, about to hit somebody, about to well haymaker style into somebody with that big barb stick. Don't want any part of that, but you can tell they are just as detailed as their big brother, the orc warrior. And speaking of their big brother, hey, there he is, but you know, <laughs> one sixth is big so that is actually we should open this up and compare it shouldn't we I feel like we owe it to ourselves oh wow so let's see how different so these are the same exact miniature and well it's not gonna be quite as detailed and there's some optional parts obviously not on the larger torso in my right hand there but it is spot on for sure very crazy even look at the the tear and the stitching down there not quite as jagged and you can't quite see it but it's still true it's still there it's very very cool to see so very neat 
how they are able to scale all of that stuff down. Something that we haven't quite seen yet from anybody. And like I said, we haven't seen detail really this uh, intricate and we definitely haven't seen uh, these folks able to scale anybody out there else out there at least that I'm aware of obviously chime in in the comments we can't be everywhere all the time but uh, let me know uh, we haven't seen that yet quite quite yet so let's talk about the orc warlord Rawr. this is the big baddie and they come with these little flip out instruction manuals which I think is pretty neat um, just you know it's a sheet of paper literally just folded in half and then folded again and stuffed in there these come with all the options. So you get the ginormous war hammer here. Uh, it's gonna come with the magnet so you can switch out for the hand. Maybe you wanna switch it up between uh, the ax and the hand right there, whichever, super easy. And so one-sided right there, but let's take a closer look at the details. Since we didn't get uh, this guy in the larger form, but you have seen him, like I said, if you watch Kenny paint him over on Next Level Paintings Twitch stream, well then uh you kind of know how that one went right there so lots and lots of parts the axe head it's two parts the axe itself and its head is two part and then it's got the extra shaft right there that can be magnetized for i like this hammer it reminds me if there's any wild WoW players out there old ragnaros hanging out in nixia's lair that's what it reminds me of uh, of ragnaros's hammer from that's a blast of the past. I don't even know if he exists anymore in that game, but there you go. There's there's my hey. I used to be a I used to be a video gamer just like you. <laughs> and you can see all sorts of intricate parts here. Let's zoom in on the torso and give you a little bit better of a look. Boom! We are closer. Look at this bad boy right here. So the base, very cool. It's got all the cuts and everything in it. A couple of skulls, because why not? Orcs have skulls laying around. I mean, what else are they supposed to eat? And then what are they gonna do with the? What are they going to do with their remains? I don't know. Leave them laying around. So there it is. All of the crazy intricate detail. Looks like there's some parts to go on here still. Uh, probably these are shoulder pads if I had to guess. Very cool. And maybe over here. Yeah, that looks way better. So the stuff that they weren't able to include in the cast itself will go on separately. And then you've got your choice. Uh, between this Ooga Booga head, which can also be magnetized, it looked like. Look at that little small magnet hole. Or Mr. Head over or hat over his face, right there. <laughs> kind of different looking, huh? And then you've got his shoulder pad, which is probably on this side, if I had to guess. Yeah, that looks right. So lots of cool stuff here. It goes together pretty well. The tolerances are very, very tight, which you would you know imagine with all the scaling and everything. And great work on the armor. Also with some comic book parachute pants back there. I love the armor. I love everything they did. They literally drew this up, scaled it down, gave it just enough detail to print out and not one pixel less just enough to get it to print i really love the quality here oh what does this go to oh i think this is like actually clamped on him like he broke free or something and then the tiniest of all magnets here to help you magnetize uh the weapons and oh no it looks like that doesn't magnetize nope it goes right there wow that's crazy if that hand oh okay because it's, it's recessed i was like that's crazy if it supports that but it looks like it definitely would as long as you magnetize into there uh, that has that looks like it has enough uh, weight to actually hold it and support this ginormous Ragnaros hammer here. Oh wow, look at that skull. I didn't even notice that before. That's crazy. Look at this detail. I mean, this is just incredible to see. These folks over at 3DR Digital, I don't even know what to say. Like the you just don't see stuff like this for this kind of price point out there. So, you know, like I said, this is good for the hobby, help support these folks. So we can get more and more fantasy-esque miniatures. Hopefully they expand the line into elves, into whatever. You know, there's all sorts of different tree peoples, demons, maybe some sort of space, not satans. I don't even know. Sky's pretty much the limit, especially if they can scale it down and sell, you know, their complete runs and little four packs and stuff. That seems like a pretty neat way uh, to do it as well. So that is about it we're out of time here folks for this one i hope you enjoyed our unboxing review of 3d art digital's 2.0 offerings 
Make sure you check their site for their sales coming up here in October, Orktober. Oh gosh, how could I? Orktober and keep an eye out for future releases by them. Like I said, the sky is really the limit with these folks.